back in January of, of last year, a year ago now, I mean, where were we, where were we at with the, with the casino process at that time? Could you kind of walk us through this, the, the, this year? Well, we, um, in December of uh, 2009 is when we uh, received the, uh, the uh, go on the, on the casino. And, uh, of course, it was right away under, uh, we'd already uh, completed the development plan, and it was right away that uh, we went uh, uh, looking forward to design and, and construction. One of the first, uh, at, at groundbreaking, and then uh, one of the first things was the relocation of Main Street. Uh, that has been accomplished, and Main Street is, is open there now. And uh, then the, the bidding for, uh, for all the subs and the general contractor and so forth, uh, that has all been accomplished. Uh, we went through a, an all-night concrete pour for the basin of the casino. Uh, that was exciting. Uh, I was there and, and, and observed during, during that evening. That was kind of the first big construction uh, site. Now. Now steel work is going up. Uh, uh, Isle has uh, announced their general manager, uh, Chet uh, Kosh, uh, will report the 2nd of January. They have leased space in the uh, uh, Marquette uh, Tower uh, for uh, all of their uh, interviewing, hiring, and uh, general office work and training. Uh, so that is underway. Um, they will top off the uh, steel work uh, in the first part of the week of February, I think. Everything's on target. Uh, everything is uh, looking forward to a uh, uh, December of 2012 opening. Yeah. Now, you know, the casino is really going to change Cape Girardeau's riverfront area. Now, another project that could have a more profound effect on the entire region, perhaps, is um, Interstate 66, which is a proposed interstate connection that would go from Cape Girardeau to Paducah, Kentucky. Um, I mean, how, how is this going to change the region economically? Well, this is a long-term project, and it's been in the, uh, it's in the study phase for, uh, uh, I think, since the late 80s. So it's a long-term project, but this uh, past May, in May of uh, 2011, we uh, took a group to Washington and uh, had a uh, meeting uh, with the Department of uh, Transportation and Secretary Ray LaHood uh, participated in that meeting with a group from uh, from our area, and uh, I was included in that. And uh, we asked for some study money to some funding to uh, uh, look at the feasibility and the, and the route and so forth for uh, I-66, but particularly the route from uh, Paducah to Cape Girardeau, from I-24 to I-55. Um, we were rewarded from that visit with a uh, three million six hundred thousand dollar grant that will come next uh, in the next uh, six months, uh, and then the study will be underway. And that's a feasibility. It's a it's a route study. It's an environmental study, and so forth. But we're encouraged with that because once we get that study underway, uh, we feel we're on the road, so to speak of uh, getting that, bringing that uh, project to fruition. Still have to get uh, through that and get uh, funding for construction and so forth, but we're very encouraged that we got that first initial uh, funding for the study. You know, when you drive to Paducah, it really seems like it's a, it's a place that's a lot farther away than it really is because there's really no good way to get there. I mean, what's this going to uh, cut the driving, down, the driving time down to between Cape and Paducah? Well, of course, we haven't got it. Uh, completed, but I, I kind of liken it. It's an hour and a half to Paducah, and it's going to be 45 minutes to Paducah. So it's it's going to at least half the uh, the time, the drive time to Paducah. And it's so important to uh, uh, commercial and industry uh, or industri industrial uh, uh, customers here, particularly Procter and Gamble. Uh, we we just don't have that good east-west uh, flow. We have good north-south flow. We have uh, rail. We have water. Uh, we have air, but that east-west uh, surface transportation has been lacking. And if we can uh, get that underway, which we're going to be able to do this year in 2012, yeah, it'll go a long way toward uh, uh, solidifying our uh, our picture here in, uh, in in Cape Girardeau. Now, when you're talking about that, you're talking about the opportunities that could open up to, to attract more businesses to, to, will, to locate to the area there? It will definitely attract more business, and it will uh, enhance our local uh, current uh, industry, particularly uh, uh, our large largest industry, and that's Procter & Gamble.
Now, even without I-66, this last year, Cape Girardeau was able to attract a few, a few new businesses into the area. Um, the one that, 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 you know, that, that I'm thinking of immediately would be Menards, um, which is one of the largest uh, home improvement stores in the, in, in the country. And they are well under construction, uh, should open uh, first half of this year. Um, they are uh, uh, fast uh, under construction. We were able to uh, fill one of the exciting things for me uh, in uh, 2011 was uh, filling the Thorngate uh, building, a large building, 170,000 square feet. That was it was a hard building to market. It had low ceilings and, uh, and a uh, building that had some age to it. But we filled that all of that space with uh, Blair Box, and they are. Uh, they are functioning now, and I think they have upwards of about 50 employees on uh, specific uh, uh, hard packaging uh, items, and uh, they have room for expansion there. That was very exciting. Uh, we also added, uh, had a little ad small addition and some added jobs at uh, Spartec uh, during the year. Menards will be, uh, become very good uh, for us as they go. I think they're going to have upwards of uh, 140, 150 employees, and of course the construction jobs and the and the uh, full-time jobs of between 400 and 450 at the casino that will come to fruition this year uh, makes the job market uh, feeling pretty good at this point. We've been speaking with Mayor Harry Rediger of Cape Girardeau. Mayor Rediger, thank you so much for coming by to talk with us about the year 2011. Always a pleasure. Anytime, Jake.